Where do you live, Chisun? Lagos. Yeah. Where in Lagos? Surulere. Really. Living in Solo. I live in Yaba. Peter Island. Onye. Surulere. Agege environment area ish. Aja. Onye Pan. Igondo. Have you always lived in Lagos? Yes and no. As far as I know, yes. Yes, all my life, no. Where did you come from? Benin. Well, yeah. Not always. Like, I moved here for secondary school. Then I moved back. All the time that I've lived in Nigeria, I've lived in Lagos. I just moved to Lagos in uh, 2014. Yes, I've always lived in Lagos, except for when I was in uni. Do you know how many people live in Lagos? 18, 20 million. 20 million, 15. I don't think 3 million is enough. 48 million. 16, 17 million people. 20 million, I guess. Mm, about 21 million. 17. Million. Yes. But the stats actually show that the number is closer to 24 million. Oh, I need times too. I have good plans for Lagos. <laughs> and um, according to the Lagos State Governor, about 1,200 people move in to Lagos every day. I feel sorry for them. Why? From what are they looking for? Wait, do they think that it's like greener pastures and stuff? Because... Lagos has been ranked the third most stressful city to live in after Damascus in Syria and Dhaka in Bangladesh. I agree. We are worse than a country that's at war. That's like true. There's still genitals in Lagos. Shalia Oshodi. It's a stressful city. I look stressed. So. New York is not even one or two. I feel like Lagos should be like the most stressful city in the whole world. Can you imagine? Only one of those cities is a, is a war zone. The worst part is like I could leave, but I won't leave. So it's like I'm in some kind of abusive relationship. So why does everyone want to come to Lagos? Money. Everybody says there's money in Lagos. There are opportunities in Lagos. They have this idea that you can only make it in Lagos. So people are enamored with the thoughts of Lagos. People come here to chase their dream. Lagos is a place where things work. Well, as far as Nigeria is concerned. I'm deceived by what I look like. I'm struggling too. Why are you in Lagos? Why am I not in Lagos? No, 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 no. I'm in Lagos because I'm from Lagos. So hustle, make it big, live life. Because I didn't want to get in trouble with immigration. I think I might be here a while longer because like I said, things work here. I haven't found a job outside Lagos that would pay me as well as the ones I found in Lagos. Or else I'd move in a heartbeat. I don't know anywhere else. All my friends are here as well. I love the food. I don't think I can see myself in any other states. Money. That's why I came to Lagos. I mean. So how much do you need to survive in Lagos? I've survived on 35,000. I've survived on 80,000. I've survived on... 100 and more, so I would say minimum of 35,000 naira. I think I can manage like 10k, like 60k, 60,000 on average. In Lagos, see, you can't put it, it's your money that can finish. The turn up is on end in this Lagos. Half a mil a month would be enough, as in as a single person like this, to live like, yeah. I'm not counting like rents and other things like that, so. Okay, Hassan. We're gonna do some quick math. We're gonna hand you a piece of paper and you're gonna tell us how much you spend every week. If there is any item in there that, that is not in there, feel free to write it down. Everybody needs to know how much I spend in brothels. Food, food, food. Two weeks salary, then two weeks for salary. I average, my average needs a month are about 44,000. It's when you're confronted with stuff like this that you realize that you don't do stuff with money, but then the money just goes. Because I can't remember what I do, apart from transportation, food, and the internet, but then I can't remember any other thing. Is rent part of that estimation? No. My feeding pattern, two weeks after salary, I spent like 30 grand on food, then two weeks post salary, 5,000. So like, transportation is like 12k a month. For food, it's it's 40k. There's a reason I'm fat. That's a lot. So I'm confused. But this is sort of accurate. Sort of. It's actually close to 100,000 naira a month. Wow. Oh my god. Can I reduce it? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that the average monthly salary of a middle class Lagosian is between 75,000 and 100,000 naira a month. 
I'm sorry, I, I can't relate. I don't know about 75. Most people tend to end from like 50 to like 120. Could you survive on that? No. At all, no. Survive, yes, obviously. Thrive, no. Yeah, but you just said that you could live on 60,000. Yeah, and but like, that's just for me, like personally, but not like for other, you know, enjoyment purposes or stuff that I have planned for my, for my life. So I guess, I guess I can. I mean, it's all about um, cutting down on stuff and just waiting every sickness out and not going to the hospital. I'm saying no now, right? But at some point, I, there was a time I was earning 40,000 naira a month. I think, I think you can, because I'm going for NYC pretty soon. I'm going to get like a salary dip to like 19,800. So I'm excited to see what that holds. Or if not, I'll start to go find me on Twitter. Do you think that that salary range between 75,000 naira and 100,000 naira a month is middle class in Nigeria? No. I think it's lower class. Because middle class would be from like 120 to like 200. And then if you're earning above 200, then you're doing pretty good, yeah. How much money is enough for you to live your best life in Lagos? <laughs> A millionaire net, so after tax. In dollars, I would say, a million, yes. <laughs> There's no amount. <laughs> There's no maximum cap. The yeah, parts of Lagos that you're not even unlocked because you don't have money. Like, you don't even know. I would go places, the places I've never been in this Lagos because money. I mean, it's not like I'm poor. Then I'll not even have to stay in Lagos. I can, like, just book a flight, leave, and come back. Leave and come back. Leave and come back. Because I don't want to stay in Lagos, but we have to anyway. How do you get around Lagos? Uber and taxify mostly, and then I hitch rides with my brother. Drive mostly. Okada, Keke, yellow buses, not perps. Bike. Then if there's like a wedding, I take Uber. Taxify. And then like the week before I get paid, I trek. Like every Lagos yeah. Is Lagos working? No. <laughs> no. I can't even, there's no, it's not. I mean, it's like on the verge of a kind of breakdown. Well, it's working for now. I think it's working, but I think it could work a lot better. Yeah, I won't say it's working 100% or 50%, but I'll say it's working in, in its own way. There are a lot of cities and countries abroad that are below sea level, and yet they don't drown every time someone spits too much into the air. Like, all you have to do is just take a bucket and throw water up, and Lagos floods. Lagos is like when you have like a big test and you like cram some questions and a lot of them come out and you get like 90 and the next test nothing comes out so you get like 15% like we're winging it. 14 years now they've been doing light rail for 14 years so if you can like get a light rail to work and you have revenue of how many billion clearly whatever you're doing is not working. It, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Lagos isn't working because Nigeria isn't working. What do you think will make Lagos better? Everybody should live. Look at public holidays. Look at how free the roads are. Then school children, they should put their school in Ogun State. Please, but the now, ship all of them there. If there's anything that can be done that could actually reduce the tra amount of traffic in Lagos, I think that will make Lagos a lot better. Like ferries that you will not be scared to die on. Free Wi-Fi, yes, because it helps in technology and it creates other opportunities for other people. We need stronger laws, laws that punish people for not doing what they say they would. Um, a better government. The government? Yes. Please stop, stop recording. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Has the thought of leaving Lagos for another place in Nigeria ever occurred to you? No. But to where? Mm -mm, I'm lying, no. Yes, I'm not going to raise my children here. No. For now. <laughs> if you had to leave, where would you go? Abuja. Else, I'm not going anywhere. Canada? Sorry, wait, what? Abuja, but that's like worse. Because they're all rich. I would have said maybe Joss, but then I saw one kind of snake or something I don't even understand. One kind of creature, like, on the internet and it was somebody's house, so that's cancelled. Calabar. I would rather stay in Lagos. The East, I would have said, because, like... Inugu is, like, really chill. It's not that hot. But then, I feel like, with the kind of person I am, 
I would be fighting men every day, so I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know. Maybe Ibadan. Three cities, Ibadan, Kaaba, Uyo. What are the most Instagrammable places in Lagos? Hmm, let me see. There's Stranger, there's 1616, there is um, Radisson, there is um, Rufus and B. The Ice Cream Factory. At Sun School. Signature and Ikoi. Nikkei Art Gallery. The Backyard School. Raymond Joko, the, the new white space space is pretty cool. The Canopy Walkway, what's the name of that place again? The Lekki Conservation Center? Lekki Convers yes, that's it. Um, the first signature park, that's cool too. The, the Roof of Amazon, there is um, Africa Arts Foundation, which is spectacular. The art is fantastic there. I guess like any cool beach, or the beaches. The beaches. <laughs> Let me see, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to think mainland. Yeah, nothing, there's nothing in the mainland. <laughs> Moving on. Mainland, like, all these places are just like bush, but it's going to look artistic. It's going to look artistic. I'm serious. <laughs> what three words come to your mind um, when you think about Lagos? Stressful, wet, and pretentious. It's like a high-class prostitute. I can't think of anything, no. That doesn't involve genitals, but I'm tired of saying genitals. Fun, traffic, stress, business, debt, dirty, right? <laughs> Not um, and opportunities. Fornication, food, and traffic. Traffic. FFT. <laughs> I was thinking you were going to go for like a triple F. What's know, that? Fornication, food, and fashion. <laughs> that is so hedonistic. Wow, and you're like dirty, money, pretty. Energy chaos and life, I guess. Yeah. Angry. Hustle. Robbery. What is the most important thing people who want to move into Lagos should know? Everyone is stressed. Everyone is crazy. Everyone is mad. So just be ready for that. Hustle or you die. Are you coming as a hustler? Or are you coming like a big boy? You just want to change location? Because there are two different manners. So if they touch you in Lagos, first hold the guy, then hold your. If it's complete, <laughs> let him go. Look sophisticated. It will get you to places where money can get you, where education can get you. If you sound like the cool kids, you're going to get places, and you're going to eat free food, and you're going to get free drinks, and get free rides, and blah, blah, blah. But don't get fooled that you're one of them, because you never will be, so. Everybody's angry. Lagos is stressful. That's all you need to know, really. If you have to choose between living in a neighborhood with good roads, but high rent, and a neighborhood with trash roads, but, good, but lower rent, pick the higher rent. Every time. Um, Lagos is trying to kill you, or at some point it will try to kill you. Be ready to kill it first. Like, it's not easy for you to get around. If you have an appointment for 12 o'clock and you stay very far, just like leave three hours before your appointment just to get there in time. If you've enjoyed this episode, I think I suggest you should subscribe to Lagos. I mean, <laughs> subscribe <laughs> to, this down there, to this channel. Should I say I'll see you next week? Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. If you've liked this, subscribe to this channel. It's too short for a one. There's no punchline. Subscribe to this channel. Punch!